Hi friends, in the previous video we have seen about the simple example of this method decorator. Now we will see another example about the property decorator. Uh, we, will, we will see how we can do the validations with the decorators for the properties we will see. For example, if you see in other languages or anything, uh, you will see at the rate required if your property is required means at the rate required like this we will be using right. So now we will try to do that one using the decorators we will see. Now, let us assume that I have a course ok. So simple object I have a course sorry I have a course ok. Course will be having its title and the price of the type. So I am giving it as a number. Now I will be having a constructor. So here I will be having a title of string and a price of number sorry price of number and now what I will write is this dot title is equal to title I will use this dot title is equal to title and what I will write is this dot price is equal to price so now I have created a simple course class which will take the title and price and it will assign automatically the title and price now so this is the course right now what we will try to do is in the index.html we will go here and we will create a just dummy form something like form here now here I will be having in the form input type is equal text and I will create it as title I will directly create the title and the placeholder I can write it as course title or something like this ok now in the same scenario I will be having the id of price and we will be having here it as a price and now what I will try to do is I will try to create a button type is equal to submit and here you will be having save or something like this. So this is a just simple form if you try to see the output here you will try to get that it is a course title price and a course title so you will be able to see here you will be able to see course title and price and the save button we are having simple save button ok now whatever the course title and price we will be having here we will take uh, we will take into this we will create an instance I will, we will store this one we will create an object with the title and price now here I will take that button constant sorry form form is sorry constant form is equal to I can write something like document dot query selector of form ok I can get that form now what I will try to do is so form dot add event listener I will write the add event listener so here instead of keeping that question mark here we will keep it as a exclamatory so that we will not return any null add event listener of submit when this one is submit and we will get an event here so that what we will do we will do that event dot prevent default so I am preventing the default thing now here what I will try to do is I will try to get the title element how we can get is document dot get element by id of the title I have already given the id of title for the title and also here I will try to do this I will try to get the price and this one is called as price element ok now what I will try to do is I will I will do this one html input element as it is an html input element I can tell it one is an html where this one is gone html input element ok now in the same scenario I will call it as html input element so both that are html input element now I will take the values of this one constant title is equal to title element dot value and the constant price is equal to price element dot value as the price it, it will be taking it as a number I will convert it into the integer ok I can keep the plus directly so that it will be converted into the number now what I will try to do constant I will try to create the course object here and I will try to create new course so I will try to send this title and also the price to here ok now if I try to check console.log course object if I try to check console.log course object now if we check the output here if I try anything if I refresh this one if I click on here I will be getting a course object something like price is equal to zero title is equal to empty if I write anything here I will get the course title is equal to uh, 
uh, what I have entered and the price number we have entered. Now this one is looking fine. So we have created these all things. This one is looking fine. Now what we need to do is so for example if I remove anything if I remove if I rem if I make it as empty and if I am clicking like this so this one is creating course course is creating with title empty but it is price of zero but this one is not a valid thing. So we need to check validations that if the title is empty or the price is so both of things we need to keep it as a required field. Okay, how we can do that one one thing what we can do is before before creating an object we can tell that if title dot trim is not equal to empty something like this we will be keeping right um it's not trill it's a trim is not equal to empty so this type of uh, validations we will be keeping then if i if these if these type of conditions get true only then only we will try to create an object uh, we create to create a course object but it will be better some uh, it will not better so this is one way of presenting so now what we will try to do is we will try to do the decor uh, decor we will try to use the concept of decorator so that validations will be checked at that place only for example here for us title is required so why can't we keep here required so that we will write a decorator for this one so for example the price should be of positive so i can keep some positive like this so that this decorator should be taken care so here i can create that if validate of this course object so there is there could be another something method like a validate of course object means automatically all the decorators what it has written all the things should has to validate here okay so how could be it would be better right so now we will try to do this type of validations here so if we try to do the validations what can we do is so i will be creating here one function so first we will write with the required thing then after so first it is a required okay now this one is a function required now what i will try to do here you will be having a target of type any so constructor function or static constructor function you will be getting whatever the thing it has and you will be having the name name means nothing but the name of the property so it could be a string so this is the data we are getting okay so now before doing this one we will let's create an interface okay so interface is nothing but what i can see is validation config okay validation config i want i will create a validation config what is this validation config is nothing but what i can do is so here i will create a such a way that object i will try i need to have a object in such a way that course that is a class name it should be of the properties what we are having here we are having title and price right so title so what are the validations they have written for example they have written required so they can have multiple also required uh, max length greater than zero if you want to write you can write so multiple multiple validations they can write so title required and i need price of something like required for example we are writing required so i need to frame i need to have a something object like this structure okay so it can be anything title price tomorrow you can have anything or anything so i want to make an interface something so this is a course means that's why i created a course now any object we can have any object any class we can have so this one is dynamic this one is dynamic and this one is dynamic okay this one we know that it's just area of strings we need to create an interface like this one so it, which, which will accept this type of object so what i can do i can use the index properties so what i can do so here i can create a property dynamic thing so of type string okay so which will be of type object and here this one is also property uh, what we can say uh, validation property or something like this okay validation property this one is also of type string and uh, it could be of string of array how is this one so this is the interface what i am trying to create so this is the type this is the interface i am trying to create okay so this could be of uh, it should be able to store this uh, this course of title required price of required like this it should be able to have this type of object okay now what i will try to do is so this is the thing so in the next video we will see how we can write the property decorators and all those things okay so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you